Welcome to Remove My Mugshot Control Your Search webinar. This is our first webinar. I'm going to put it on the website so everyone can see it. It's a replay in case uh, you didn't get a chance to log on and watch it real time. So the first question I get asked uh, all the time by people is, are these guys a scam? Is mugshot removal a scam? Absolutely, it's a scam. Every other website you're going to see on the internet for mugshot removal is a scam. How do you know that? Simple. They're like, oh, we'll instantly remove that image or we'll get that image taken off within seven days or within a specific time frame. The only way somebody can remove an image from a website is if they own the website, they hack the website, or they're a lawyer and they get the domain uh, name provider to take down the website or the hosting company to take down the website, which is only done if they're violating the law. Now, some of these mugshot websites are violating the law. Uh, the mugshot.com owners got arrested, which most people have seen that. And just like all these other sites that are out there, I'm not going to mention any names, but there's like one site that's pretty close to ours in Google, and uh, they actually buy ads for our name. So if you type in our name in the search bar, their ad comes up. They have a bunch of different websites. Um, you sign up on one site, you get an email from a different site, a uh, guy calls you from this site, and they spam the shit out of you um, because it's a scam. They're scamming. And not only that, they own the website that's publishing your image. That's how they're able to guarantee to take down that image is because they own all these other mugshot sites. They own about 20-something mugshot sites. So um, my goal with my website, because every other site is a scam, my website has one goal, and it's to put these other idiots out of business. We're not here to make a profit. I don't give a shit about making money on somebody's mugshot. Now, if you want us to help you control your search and clean out your search results, that's absolutely fine. I have no problem doing that, doing reputation management, which most people have never heard of, ORM. Um, the only time they really think about it is when you know, a mugshot pops up or something like that. So reputation management is actually a really large industry. Uh, it's generally something you wouldn't really know about unless you're in the internet marketing. Um, but it, it, it kind of aligns with the same thing with SEO. So, yeah, to answer that question, yeah, all those other guys, they're a scam, a big fucking scam. If you want to give them money, that's cool um, to each his own. Uh, I personally chose not to have some, to pay somebody to get my mugshot taken down. I just did something else, which is basically put my own information out there on the Internet and built up my own web presence. And you can do this for free. So if you're looking to get your mugshot removed for free, please check out our blog post. We have a post that ranks pretty well in Google and it lists all the contact information on how to remove a mugshot for free. Now, they copy everything that's on our website. Why haven't they copied that post? That's a good question, huh? Because they're trying to scam people. They're trying to get your money. They're trying to get thousands of dollars from you for no reason. You could do this completely for free. It does take time and it's a pain in the ass, but you can do it for free. Or if you want to outsource it, you can outsource it. Or if you want to pay scammers, you can pay scammers. All right. So let's get started. Enough of my rant because uh, <laughs> I just get irritated with these people copying our content and they're not innovators, which is cool, you know, whatever. So let's see them copy this. Let's see them put up a webinar. Let's see them put information with all the email addresses for all the mugshot sites. And uh, let's see them take it to the next level. So let's uh, get started. So what do you do next? You found a mugshot. Don't click on it. That's the first thing. Don't click on that bitch. Because uh, if you click on it, Google is going to make it rank higher. Um, so the third thing you want to do is check the page of the site for removal information. This is a real simple step. A lot of people don't do this. Like if you look on the page, generally there might be uh, a spot to where you can remove a mugshot. So Arrested Developments. Uh, this is like there's so many of these damn sites. So uh if you go on here, there's actually a contact form. And what do you do? Bam, this guy's mugshot gone. Once the mugshot is gone, now this doesn't always happen, but it happens with some websites. You know, they're pretty easy, straightforward. You get them, you get, you send the contact information. Be polite, just like how it says on that other guy's website when he copied my blog post about be polite. <laughs> but be polite, you know, I mean, these guys are scumbags, uh, but don't you know, send them some kind of email like you're going to be all tough on the internet. Just say, hey, can you take this down, please? You know, because your ultimate goal is to get it down. 
once they get once they take it down, you submit a uh, request to Google to in your search console to remove this outdated content. Now, here's another question to ask yourself. Why is this information not on these other guys websites? Because they want your money. They're trying to scam you. We're trying to put these we're trying to put these guys out of business. So <laughs> let's just keep going. So here's an example of a website or excuse me, of an email that was sent to uh, uh, to somebody who was like asking us about a mugshot. And it's like, if you email me, usually I'll email you back with like how to get it off. If I know, because like, I've been doing this for a while. Like my mugshot was published in 2012. So my website's been up for 2000, since 2012. None of these other guys' websites have been up that long. And I don't hide my info. If you look, you can see who owns my website. You can see Incept Technologies, LLC. That's the name of my company. Um, Alexander Atacola, that's my name. You can look me up. I'm a legit person. I'm not trying to scam anybody. So uh, if you, so in this email, it just basically tells a guy, you know, email mugshots.com one at Gmail and ask to have your image to be removed. Be sure to include a copy of your ID, um, and then basically it says, be sure to include the ID they assign to your page. I'm sorry. So basically everybody has like a unique, um, like a serial number or something along those lines for the page. Send that to them, blah, blah, blah. If you want to pause this and read this, you can read this. Uh, let's keep rolling along. So here's another one, arrestfacts.com. Uh, so it's a website and people or on here, they don't look, but if you look under this avatar on the right-hand side here, it says information control. If you click that information control, it'll take you to this page. Then all you do is put in your name, your email, click the captcha, send it in, and then boom, they removed this page. So it was that simple to get that page removed. Again, submit it to Search Console remove outdated content. You can Google that and Google to look for it, or we'll, you know, I'll post a link under this uh, as well. Because again, I want people to be able to remove their mugshot for free. I don't want you to give me any money. And I definitely don't want you to give the other guys money. But I understand some people are busy. They don't want to screw around with this, whatever. So they'll pay somebody else to take care of it. Or they want to build up their web presence just to prevent any kind of thing like this from happening in the future. So contact the domain name provider or the hosting company. You haven't, you can't lose by doing this. So uh, if there's some tools out there on the internet you can use to look up, and this is for some of the more technical people, you can look up who hosts the website or um, who registered the domain name. Generally, it's domain tools. That's the one I use. Um, you use that one, you'll get some information out there, and you can see... Uh, who owns that website and uh, shoot them a, 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 an email and uh, or hosting company and domain name provider and see if they'll take it down. So here is a, and again, you see this is my info here, Incept Technologies LLC, that's my company. Um, we do a lot of things. We build software, we do internet marketing, build websites for people. Uh, so this is just something, a side project I have because I got really pissed off in 2012 and uh I'm going to put it, you know, I'm sticking it to these guys. The only reason, like my site ranks high, you know what I mean? These other guys are spending money on, on Google ads. There's, they got SEO guys who are working full time. The thing they don't understand is like I, SEO is my background. I've been doing this before it was even called SEO. I've been doing it way before any of these guys. So I love a challenge and when I'm pissed off, I'm going to take it on. So let them keep spending money and hiring salespeople and, building all these different websites and having, having all these graphic designers and putting up these stock images of people being arrested, trying to shame you into giving them money. If that's what they want to do, whatever. We're going to, you know, I mean, I, there's so many ways to make money on the internet. Why do you need to do that? But anyway, let's just keep rolling around, keep rambling and getting irritated. So you may encounter a zombie site. What's a zombie site? So a zombie site is a site uh, where they ran the site, they're no longer running it, Some, or nobody is going to contact you, or you can't get in touch with these people, um, or you just, you know, sometimes people are just, whatever, you can't get a hold of these people. The site, the image is there, there's nothing you can do. So 
Uh, West Palm Busted. This is a, you know, there's so many of these stupid sites. So these people here are like, well, we're not going to remove your mugshot. So it's like no mugshot removal, blah, blah, blah. According to the law, we're not going to accept payments to remove photographs. The Busted website are owned by a foreign corporation and operated completely outside the state of Florida, thus are not subject to Florida law. Okay, buddy. So these people are going to publish your image. They say they're above the law. They don't have to worry about any kind of repercussions. So in a situation where you have a zombie site or somebody like this, you're going to have to um, look at an alternative method. And again, how are some of these companies able to say, oh, I'm going to get your mugshot taken down in seven days. Now watch, they're going to stop saying that now because they're going to see this webinar and they're going to see that I'm giving you the game and telling you what their little jig is. So uh, anyway, mugshot removal. So Boca News Now. So this one says bocanewsnow.com is not a mugshot website. We have never charged. Do not charge for mugshot removal. We're a news organization. We report the news. Some of the news involves arrests. A lot of it does not. Blah, 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 blah. So our policy is simple. If the charges are dropped, reduced, or prosecutors ultimately decide not to prosecute, let us know and we'll take appropriate action. So basically what they're saying is we'll take your image down if you email them. And that's the thing. A lot of these sites contact them. You know what I mean? Contact them. Be polite. Hey, can you take this down? Most of the time they'll, they'll do it. You know, Start building your online presence immediately. Again, these guys are copying me because they, they're starting to put this in their blog now. You can outrank most mugshot websites. Um, there are a couple that have been around for a while. Uh, they get a lot of traffic that Google, for some reason, likes one reason or another. And Google supposedly updated their algorithm to uh, prevent those sites from ranking, but that's not the case all the time. So the first thing you want to do is start building your, your online presence immediately. And that's like putting up social media profiles optimizing your images, uh, putting some alt text on your images with your first name, last name, setting up a personal website. Um, and, you know, these are for, if you're technical, you can do this pretty easily. If you're not technical, you know, we can help you out with that. Uh, this is how you bury a mugshot. So essentially, again, like what I was mentioning before, building up your social media profiles, setting them up, optimizing them for your first name, last name, adding your images, Optimizing those images with EXIF data and so forth is a pretty good way at outranking most mugshots and burying them. And people, when they're searching for you, they're not going to go past the first page unless you're, you know, unless you, 90% of people aren't going to go past the first page, especially if they find some information that is relevant to you that's engaging, you know, because they don't feel like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I searched this person, I read this site, I know about them, you know, whatever. Here's an example of our list. I mean, we have a, a master list of sites. So like WordPress um, is a good one. Classmates.com, LiveJournal, Issue, Facebook, some of the you know common ones, Instagram, uh, Google has a blogger, like any of the Google properties, so forth, um, rank pretty well. Now, there's also some paid sites as well that rank. Um, and again, that's another reason why people say, well, why don't you just do this for free? Well, my time, you know, I have to pay bills and then my time is not unlimited. And then some of these sites are paid sites. So that's why we do charge a fee. But trust me, it's cheaper than the other guys. And the only reason we're charging is to basically cover our costs. And then people are like, well, they don't understand. But when they sign up and they get the information from us and they see all the things that we're doing, they understand where that money is going. Ping your new web properties. When you build those properties, you need to send a little ping to them, let Google know they exist. So something like Pingler uh, is a perfect example of what we use. And uh, we're giving the game out. You know, I don't, I, This is exactly how we do it. This shit is not rocket science. And again, we're not trying to take your money. I'd be more than happy for people to be able to do this on their own. Excuse me. And the mugshot sites die. You know what I mean? Because if people don't go to them and they can't find them and they don't get traffic and send clicks and eyeballs to advertising, then then the business model won't work. So that's what the goal of this webinar is, is to teach people how to do it and, this, and to basically put this shit out of business because it's ridiculous. All right. Promote it on social media. So that's another thing you need to do. So you can 
nobody wants to sit at a computer all day and be like, hey, like my profile, blah, blah, blah. So, again, you can go to websites uh, and get automated social pro- pr- promotion. Excuse me, I'm like stuttering here. So you can get different type, you know, Twitter retweets, Facebook likes, all these different things. Pinterest is another good site. Uh, I didn't mention earlier, but Pinterest is a great site that ranks very well. Put images on there, make it public. All your profiles that you have for social media, uh, like your Instagram and stuff, if you can make it public, make it public. I understand some people don't want to put all their information out there, but it's, you know, do you want Google to control you and brand you? Or do you want to take control of how people perceive you? So that's the option that you have. Uh, unfortunately, that's the world we live in. That's the society we have right at this point where people Google you and they basically make a lot of decisions based on Google. Um, people don't realize that, but that is the case. So, and here's another thing. 33% of Americans have been arrested. So it's not that big of a deal. People get really ashamed by it. They get embarrassed, whatever. I mean, most, like, one out of three people have been arrested, you know, including myself. So, again, I told you, 2012, boom, who's that? That's me. <laughs> so, Alexander Adicola, driving on a suspended license in Hillsborough County, Tampa, Florida. So, uh, occupation self, web design, yeah. So, I know people were going to Google me and find this crap. So, that's kind of why I had to go ahead and jump on it and bury this thing so it's you can still find it on this website i think this is arrest.org or whatever and you can see record removal right up there on the upper right so there's a way you can get them removed if you want i don't really give a shit because i don't you know i don't i'm not in the rat race like that so if somebody sees a mugshot whatever more power to them you're looking at it right now let's go so here we go two percent of people actually own their entire first page of Google. Uh, and then just this is some little web graphic. I think it's from uh, Brand Yourself. And they're another reputation management company. So 15% of people have one negative result that damages their reputation. Some people have no positive content. Majority of the people that we get calls from are people who just don't have anything on the internet, who just haven't been proactive, who just haven't really been like oh shit you know i need to like put stuff on the internet and manage my reputation and uh they just don't think about it till something like this pops up and you know i get it like i totally get it there's a lot of things you don't really think about unless you work in that particular industry you know what i mean so executive level strategies so this is for some of my more tech savvy people and people who don't want to pay scammers to get mugshots removed build a website build a WordPress website. Um, You could build a website on Weebly. You can build a website on Squarespace. You can build a website on Wix. You can build a website on Google Sites. Build them on all of them. That's what I would do on all of them. The thing is, this takes time. It's not any kind of rocket science. It just takes a little bit of time. And again, people who are like, oh, we can get it down in 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours a week. That's because they own the website. They're the one that put your mugshot up. Once you pay them to take it down, they're going to put it up on another website. And they want you to pay them to take it down on a different website. Create and release a press release and link to your website. There are, webs- there are different sites out there where you can write a press release about yourself. You, know, you got a promotion. You had a kid. You bought a house. You started a new hobby. You built a website. <laughs> link to that website with the press release. It's pretty simple. Uh, you do that. You're good to go. What is it doing? Okay. Join professional associations with high authority web pages. So basically what you could do, like a uh, good instance, let's say you're a contractor. So if you're a contractor, there's different contracting and remodeling associations. If you're a brewmaster, there's different brewery associations. Um, and then you just basically set up a profile and pay a membership fee. You're kind of like buying a link, whether you think about it or not. And then you link to your website. Now, the people are like, oh, isn't buying links against Google's terms of services possibly? But think about it this way. If you look at your city, think about places that you can go within your city, especially if you live in a big city where you either pay for parking or parking is free. Now, a lot of sketchy neighborhoods, you can park for free. 
your car may not be there or someone might take some things out of your car. And then if you go to like a really nice fancy restaurant downtown, you're going to have to pay a valet to get your car uh, parked. So it's like the Internet. So the Internet is where are you parking information? Places that you have to pay to park information are higher authority places or places or excuse me, places that Google will hold in a higher regard. So that's basically how the internet works. And that's kind of like why it does cost money to do reputation management. Um, I mean, most things cost money, but I mean, that that's an, an example of why it costs money. One of the reasons. Schedule a call with a professional search manager. We can help you out. If you need a call with a professional search manager. What if the information in a search result prevented you from getting a job? How much would that be worth to you? Think about that. Would you pay 5000 to get a better job or keep a job? Website, email, SEO, social media, project manager, hosting, software, paid sites. Website and email, you're looking at 1300 SEO, a good SEO consultant for six months, 6000 Social media manager, six months, 1800 Project manager to manage all this stuff. Hosting for six months, 180 bucks. Good hosting. Um, you can get shitty hosting for free. Uh, software to do some of the stuff that's going to be done, and then the monthly membership for six months on some of the paid sites, 100 bucks. That's more than 10 grand. So that's why people pay the money that some of these other guys charge.